Hi, I'm Deborah Lin, and today I'm just going to do a tiny little demonstration of how we think about breathing in the bel canto. So first what I'd like you to do is just go ahead and exhale all your breath gently. Inhale gently. Exhale gently. Inhale gently. And what you feel is sort of an as you, as you exhale, everything collapses. As you inhale, everything expands. And then as soon as you exhale, everything collapses again. This is kind of the model that we use as we think about speaking and singing in our world is that when we breathe in, we expand, and then we use all that air across a phrase as we are singing or speaking. And so there's those inflow, outflow. Now I'm going to walk you through something slightly different. I'd like you to go ahead and exhale all your air. Inhale gently. Hold. And you notice when you hold your breath, your ribs on the sides basically engage and you may feel a slight compression in your throat. Go ahead and release. Do that again. Inhale. Hold. And you feel everything stabilize at the level of your rib cage. So for me, the breathing mechanism, the thing that drives our vocal folds to work properly is below the shoulders, but not because we are forcing air or pushing air through or even using air in the way we think about using air in our, in our speech. So what we're doing with bel canto is we're breathing in, we're stabilizing those ribs, which is creating a gentle air pressure essentially below the shoulders. If one sustains that gentle feeling of pressure in the rib cage for an entire phrase, we control the vibration of the vocal cords in a different way. It's controlled by what we would call a sub-level air pressure, something coming up underneath the vocal folds, as opposed to blowing something through the vocal folds to make them work. In bel canto, a very small amount of air is going through those cords, and in my experience, is almost imperceptible. So just, just practice for this week, this weekend, um, this idea that when you breathe in, you're going to do an exercise where you exhale, inhale, hold, two, three, four, five, six, and release. And again, inhale, hold, two, three, four, five, six, and release. And one more time, inhale, hold, two, three, four, five, six. In order to get the mechanism to work in this way, we have to develop the strength of the inter- and extracostal muscles of the ribs. This is what takes time. This feels weird. This doesn't sound like this is going to work. But in time, what happens when you stabilize those ribs is we suddenly are able to articulate an entire phrase while I'm doing this now. Then I reset and I go again and I speak for as long as I want and then I release. And my belief is that in this particular condition, no matter which kind you have, that this understanding of how the mechanism actually works underneath the vocal cords will assist you to start to heal the mechanism from another place. So if you have questions about this, feel free to leave comments, or, um, and I will respond either this weekend or early next week, uh, or go to my website, deborahlinmusic.com, where you can go into links and kind of see more about the bel canto that I work with, with singers, and uh, how we can apply this to having more effective speech. Okay, ciao. Have a great day.